to the Pioneer Library System. I'm Holly from the Newcastle Branch. In today's acrylic painting of The Gathering Storm, we will be focusing on painting cloud formations to create this stormy sky. For this painting, you'll need the following acrylic paint, titanium white, yellow medium, a yellow ochre, ultramarine blue, cerulean blue, grass green, and crimson. For the brushes, I used a medium flat or filbert brush, a small flat brush, a soft round brush for the clouds, and a small detail brush for the grasses. You'll also want some water, some paper towels, and a plate for your paints. Since this is a landscape painting, we want good composition. And for good composition, you don't want to divide your canvas in half. You do it in thirds. So if we're focusing on the sky, we're going to bring our ground two thirds down. So we want the sky to be our focus. I'm using the cerulean blue and a small amount of white. And I'm going to go ahead and put my horizon line in so I know where to stop. And now we're going to use this darker yellow and the same brush and we're going to paint the ground. And this is just our base coat. We'll be adding the greens later. Take this soft round brush that I talked about. If you have something that's very soft and round, that'll be good for our clouds. And I'm going to go ahead and get that wet and dab it off and then get the white paint. And we're going to start building up our clouds. And what we want to do is just make some circular motions. We're making the cumulus clouds. They kind of build up into the sky. So the ones at the top are going to be fuller and larger. And as they recede in the background, they get smaller and less distinct and closer together, which gives it the appearance of going into the distance. And they almost kind of start looking like they're on top of one another. So I'm mixing ultramarine blue and a small amount of that crimson. And we're going to create a purple. And I'm just going to put a little bit of white in there to get the shade I want. Okay, and I'm just now I'm going to put that at the base of the cloud. And since it's white, the white is still wet, it helps it to get lighter as you go up into the cloud. And you can vary it by adding a little more blue, kind of change it up just a little where it's more intense, a little heavier cloud. You can even use your finger to help kind of blend some of that. Or you can take that soft round brush and kind of dab that in there. Okay, as we get closer to the horizon, I'm going to have these clouds like the storms off in the distance coming in. I'm going to put a lot of that purple down there. I'm taking a very small amount of this yellow medium and some white, doesn't take much, and I'm just going to put a little of that at the tops of some of the clouds, kind of where the sun might be peeking through, kind of warm up that white just a little. Once you're happy with your clouds and you're through building them up, we're going to start painting the trees that are in the distance on the horizon. To give that green a toned down look, we use the color that's opposite on the color wheel. When you mix those colors that are opposite on the color wheel, it makes a shade color, so it really tones it down. 
So as you can see, my green is now quite dark. And I'm going to use my flat, small brush. And now I'm going to add a little bit of white to it. And now my trees look like they're way off in the distance. With a little atmosphere going on from the storm. You can go up and down. Some a little taller, some shorter. Now as you come closer to the middle ground, it's a little bit brighter. So I added just a little more green to that. Shades that I've already mixed. And I'm just going to do a back and forth motion to cover in the ground. I'm going to start to lighten up my green. I'm getting a little of this yellow medium. I like to vary the colors in the, the ground so it's just not a flat green. It kind of looks like different grasses growing. So you can pick up some yellow, some white. And just let that blend on your canvas. I'm going to deepen this just a little bit. That'll be the dark color underneath the grasses. Now I'm going to take my small detail brush that I that I talked about and I'm going to start making the little grass blades that you see at the front. And I will be mixing some lighter color greens. I take yellow ochre and this green and some white. And I'm just using an upward stroke. You can also take this lighter yellow and some of that green and some white and make really bright colors. And I'm just starting at the bottom and pulling up and lightening on my stroke as I go up. So just vary the shades of green. When you're all finished with your painting, don't forget to sign it. Thanks for joining the Pioneer Library System today. If you'd like to learn more about acrylic painting, check out this always available book on Hoopla with your library card. And so you don't miss a single episode, be sure to like and share below.